Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies welcome and to gentlemen, the Call welcome of Duty the tier, tier list. Duty tier We're going to hop right into this right now. So what I'm going to be doing in today's tier list is I'm going to base this off of my experience alone. Some of these games, I played the public match the whole year. Some of these games, I played the just the competitive the whole year. Some of them, I played both. Uh, I think on one of these, one, there was one year I played a lot of zombies. Oh, it was Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3, I did everything. I did pubs, I did the zombies, and I did competitive. So, we're going to base it off of my experience alone. Here we go. Let's hop right into this. We're just going to do left to right. And actually, before we start, I'm going to put World at War and Trash just because I didn't play that game at all. So, and there's no, I didn't play that game at all. Actually, can I change this? Oh, didn't, I can, didn't play. Okay, then. So, there we go. Because I'm not going to say it was trash because I didn't play it. I didn't give it the opportunity. And then when we get to COD 4 Modern Warfare that i'm going to do it as modern warfare remastered is i didn't play the original cod for the my first call of duty was modern warfare 2 so we're gonna start off with call of duty ghost and call of duty ghost i did basically competitive the whole year we played a lot of competitive and i freaking loved it a ton so i'm gonna put ghost in the a tier for now i'm not gonna put it in s or ss i did love ghost though i did love ghost and I might move it up to S. We'll see where the other what happens with the other games. The creative class system was very nice. Uh, I remember the guns being pretty good. The maps were fun. I don't like I said. I know that the pubs were not that good though. That's one thing for sure. Because I did play pubs for a little bit, and I quickly got off that train. The pubs in Ghost, in my opinion, were not great. That that's where we're gonna leave it at for now. Right now, next we're gonna go to Call of Duty World War Two. World War Two is a game that. I did not have the most fun playing. So in World War II, I tried to play competitive in it. And I did play competitive mixed with pubs, like kind of equally because I played competitive, but I wasn't able to like play enough to commit myself to a team. So uh, what happened, like what's going on in these last few years of Call of Duty? Uh, I really liked playing, I like playing competitive still, but I just don't have the time to commit to a team. And so I'm not even going to waste a team's time by trying to join their competitive team and play with them and then be like, hey guys, not going to be able to play tonight or tomorrow night. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to waste a team's time with my hectic schedule. I can play like at the most random times ever. That's why I'm solo a lot. So I didn't get to play as much competitive. And instead, I played a lot of war because that is what my family played because my family even though my schedule is like super hectic, I can text them and they'll just get on. Just like right now in Modern, the current Modern Warfare with like Search and Destroy on streams. I stream at, my streams are kind of like at the same time, usually around like 6 p.m. ish. But sometimes they're just like random. And before I started streaming, I would just play like sometimes I might play at noon. Sometimes I might play at six. Sometimes I might play at midnight. And so those guys are the ones who with, are there. And so World War II, they like to play a lot of war because this was before they started playing Search. And so I didn't have the most fun, to be quite honest, because war, there was only three maps in war for the whole year. And then competitive, I just, I mean, I I just want a really good ranking system and I can't get one. I'm going to put World War II in the B slot for now. Then we're going to go to COD 4, Modern Warfare Remastered. Like I said, I'm not basing off of COD 4. I'm basing off of Modern Warfare Remastered. Whatever year that was, that was the same year uh, Infinite Warfare came out. We're going to place this one really high. I'm going to put this right away. I'm going to put this in the S tier because the whole year for COD 4, as soon as Infinite Warfare came out, we switched over to COD, our Modern Warfare Remastered. And me, Moops, and V Silly, aka Brandon and Vince, we played game battles or UMGs. Was it U I think it was on UMGs we were on. Regardless, we're just going to call it game battles. We played game battles the whole year and we just dominated. At the beginning of the year, me and Vince sucked really, really bad at, at the competitive scene. And Brandon was really good, thankfully, because he carried us in the beginning. Towards the end, I would say we were all three pretty good. Obviously, Brandon was definitely the best, so it was really nice to have him as our main AR when we were doing 3v3 searches. But, dude, COD 4 was fun playing competitive. Now, Mono Fury Mastered, the pubs also, just like Ghost, terrible. The, the pubs were terrible. Unless you were a sniper. If you were a sniper, I can see that you love that game. I am not a sniper. I suck at sniping. I've never been a good sniper. We we had, at the end of the season, in Search and Destroy 3v3s, we had a 76 wins. And then, like, the number I'm thinking of that comes to my mind is, like, 14 losses. 
I know it was like a low number of losses, but we had a ton of wins and barely any losses. We killed it. That S tier for Modern Warfare Remastered, easy peasy. Next, we're gonna go into Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare is gonna go into the C, the C category, and I'm not gonna put it the last game, okay? Infinite Warfare was not the worst game in Call of Duty. However, it was a jetpack game from one, which I didn't like that much, but I didn't, like, I also didn't play it. Like, I just told you, I played Modern Warfare Remastered the whole year long. So, I didn't even really play Infinite Warfare, so I have to put it in C. I mean, I just didn't play it that much. And I was like, this was the third year of Jetpacks, and I was well over Jetpacks. That's why, like, we immediately went over. I obviously had played Infinite Warfare, but I don't think I even prestiged once in it. Did not enjoy it that much. Next, we're going to go, what is this? This is Black Ops 3. Yeah, Black Ops 3 is next. We're going to place that in B tier in front of World War II. Uh, so this was obviously another jetpack game, which I was upset at the time it was a jetpack game, even though I knew it was going to be, because it was the three-year cycle of Call of Duty, so when you get Advanced Warfare, then Black Ops 3, then we obviously knew Infinite Warfare was going to be jetpacks. Black Ops 3 was a pretty good game. It was definitely the best jetpack game. Hands down, the best jetpack game was Black Ops 3, and it was definitely fun, and it was a game where I played, I could play, you know what, actually, I'm going to put it in the A tier. Not in front of Ghost, though. This definitely deserves the A tier. I, I played it a ton, and I actually really liked it. Now, obviously, when I would play, I was like, man, I really wish we were playing Boots on the Ground. But whenever, like, after a while, I just got over that fact and stopped being a little a little baby and stopped complaining, I did have a ton of fun. This was easily the best Jetpack game. So Black Ops 3, and, you know, playing competitive is just fun. And then I'm pretty sure Black Ops 3 had the league play, which, if I recall, it didn't come out right away. I'm not 100% sure on that. But... I had fun. Modern Warfare 2. We're going to be putting Modern Warfare 2 in the SS tier. And I'm not just doing that for the hype. Okay. I know people think Modern Warfare 2 goes in the SS tier for the hype. But that's not why. The reason Modern Warfare 2 for me is the SS tier is it was the first Call of Duty I've ever played. Ever. Okay. So I didn't even have a system. My uncle, who is just 11 months older than me, I have two uncles, one of them is just 11 months older than me, he would come over, he would bring his Xbox, and we would switch between Halo and Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 2 was a ton of fun, and during this time, I remember during the year of Modern Warfare 2, my internet would, like, would go out, like, my internet sucked, and so I played a lot of just offline, I played Modern Warfare 2 campaign on every difficulty, I played it, started it on easy, it was my first Call of Duty, I beat it on easy, then I beat it on regular, then I beat it on hard. Then I beat it on whatever was the last one called expert or veteran. I don't remember. I beat it on every difficulty because I liked the game. I just kept playing the game. And then obviously the multiplayer looking at it now was completely broken. Absolutely a terrible, like ba terribly balanced multiplayer. But that, I mean, it was just fun. It was a good time. This was before, you know, everyone like just had to have everything perfectly balanced. Everyone just enjoyed Mono for two for what it was. And everyone had a mic like the lobbies experience were just fun, even though they were toxic. They're toxic now too. The lobby experience was just fun. So, one for two SS here. Black Ops. That is gonna go in the. I think it's gonna have to go in the B tier for me. Below World War II, because I did not enjoy Black Ops. When I got Black Ops, I remember the day I got it. My parents brought it into my room. They didn't even tell me they were gonna get it for me. It was the first time like they really surprised me with a game that I didn't even ask for. And I was like, this is the next Call of Duty. I played it. I did not like it, and it might have just been, like, I just didn't understand that every year Call of Duty comes out, and I, like, I played it for a little bit, I put it away, went right back to Modern Warfare 2, and then after a couple months, literally a couple months of just playing Modern Warfare 2 still, I put Black Ops back in, and I did play it, I just don't have, like, any great memories of playing Black Ops, like, I don't have, like, remember that one time in Black Ops when this happened, I just don't have those memories, so... I just, I have to put in the B tier under World War II. Still better than Infinite Warfare, though, because I just didn't play Infinite Warfare. Next, we're going to go into Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 was a game that I had to... Oh, another thing in Black Ops 3 I forgot to say. I played a ton of zombies in Black Ops 3. Like, literally a ton. A ton of zombies. I just played Black Ops 3 nonstop, 24 hours a day. So now I'm going to go to Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4, I think I'm going to put... I feel like I have to put it in the S tier behind Modern Warfare Remastered. But maybe in front of Modern Warfare Remastered, I'm going to have to decide if I want to flip-flop those two. Black Ops 4 was a, a game where, at first, I was, like, extremely thankful it was boots on the ground again. But then I was like, but what's up with all these specialist abilities still? 
But then throughout the year, like throughout the year, I almost said the years, throughout the year, I started to appreciate the game more. And when they finally came out with the ranking system, the league play system or whatever, even though it wasn't perfect, it was still fun to play. And it was just like, I just had some good times playing the ranking system, like really trying hard in that, even though we never got far in it. And then even when we weren't playing the ranking system, it was still fun. And that was like, Black Ops 4 is one of those games that was fast enough pace that when I was playing solo, it was still fun. Like right now, I would not play Call of Duty solo, Modern Warfare. If I if I were to get on and no one else got on with me, I would just get off. Because I don't like to play solo. I like to talk to my friends. And when you try to talk to... Well, I mean, in the new Modern Warfare, I can just talk to the people in lobby because there's a lot more in-game mics. But at the time, like Black Ops 4 didn't have that because it wasn't cross-platform yet. So you had to... Like everyone was talking in their party chat. And then also, Black Ops 4 had Blackout. Dude, I totally forgot about Blackout. We're 100% putting... Black Ops 4 in front, of, in front of Modern Warfare Remastered. Blackout, we played an absolute ton of Blackout. And I love Blackout. And right now, I might put Blackout in front of Warzone. But that's just because Warzone doesn't have duos yet. I'm boycotting Warzone until there is duos. So, that's that. Next, Modern Warfare 3. And that is easily my number one game. Modern Warfare 3 is by far, no doubt about it, I mean, it is by far my number one favorite game. I played Modern Warfare 3 pubs. Pubs only. Did not play competitive yet. At the end of Modern Warfare 3 is when I first started playing competitively. And that was fun. But I played pubs so much, it was unreasonable how, mu how, many, like, how much pubs I played. Literally, it was unreasonable. I played so many pubs, it was out of this world. I had so many Moab. I remember I played it on the PlayStation 3 and you have like your profile and you can put like a little sentence as like your bio and i would just put my mellow up count and i just remember hitting over 100 i don't know how many i got okay it might not have been 200 it might have been more than 200 i don't know all i know is i got over 100 i hit triple digits and i just remember i do i remember a couple of times i actually hit double like double mobs in a game dude i have so many great i have tons of like 100 plus kills in modern for three like using snipers in that game doing 100 plus getting moabs with any kill streaks special kill streaks or assault kill streaks or support kill streaks i remember helping people try to get their mobs so i would run support kill streaks which is where like even if you died you kept your kill streak but it was like basically all uavs was your only option i remember doing that trying to help someone get their moab i would put on all uavs and then I got a Moab too. Like, I remember that. That was on Dome. Modern for 3 is by far the best game. Next, we're going to go into Black Ops 2. And Black Ops 2 is going to go into the... Mm, probably the S tier. And it might go in front of Modern for Remastered. I know for a lot of people, Black Ops 2 is their favorite game. And it was... You know, Black Ops 2 might go in front of... I, I can't put Black Ops 2 in the SSS, SS tier. I can't do it. I want to do it, but I think it's just because the hype is making me want to do it. It's a good game. It's a phenomenal game. And I... The only reason I think I can't put Black Ops 2 in front of Black Ops 4... I think I have to keep Black Ops 4 there next. Before Black Ops 2 is literally because of Blackout. I mean... Black Ops 4 had a great fast place multiplayer that obviously a lot of people didn't like because the specialist abilities and all that fun stuff. For me, it was fun. At first, I didn't like it. I really started to like it at the end, and I loved Black Ops 4 at the end of the game. I was like, man, this game really was a good game, you know? And then Blackout was just... Like, I just didn't give Black Ops 4 a chance, the multiplayer a chance, because I just love Blackout so much. So I think I have to leave Black Ops 4 in front of Black Ops 2 because of... Because of Blackout. I mean... And the multiplayer was good too. And Black Ops 2 was great. I mean, it was a great game. It's in the S tier still. So I'm gonna I'm leaving it like this. Finally, we have Advanced Warfare. By far the worst game in Call of Duty. It was, first of all, no one was expecting the whole jetpack thing. And I really like when Black Advanced Warfare came out, I like tried to force my friends to play Advanced Warfare with me. I was like, guys, I know it's jetpacks, but it's gonna be fun. And I remember like trying to get them to play it. And I just remember just like Every game, I would just, like, have a fake smile, and it would just slowly start to go away. I mean, at the end of the day, if Call of Duty Infinite Warfare or Call of Duty Advanced Warfare were the games to play right now, I would still play them. Call of Duty is still my favorite games of all time. But compared to all the other Call of Duties, I have to put Advanced Warfare at last place. But once, dude, if Advanced Warfare was the game right now, 
that everyone was playing I would play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I would not switch to another game. I wouldn't go play like Overwatch because I have played a ton of Overwatch. I want to go play CSGO. I definitely want to go play Fortnite. I don't, I suck at Fortnite too much. I would still play Advanced Warfare. So let me just throw that out there. It is my least favorite Call of Duty, but I would still play it over switching to a new game because I just love Call of Duty. And then finally, it's not on here. I thought it was going to be on here, but the current Call of Duty 2019 Modern Warfare, where would I put that? Um, I would probably put it if I I would probably put the current Modern Warfare I think I would put it either right after Black Ops 2 I think I would put it right after Black Ops 2 right in front of Modern Warfare Remastered and the S tier again which kind of makes me if I do that it kind of makes me want to put Modern Warfare down to the A tier but it's not no I don't want to do that Modern Warfare Remastered is definitely an S tier game with my experiences I'm not scared to have four games in the S tier. I would put Modern Warfare, the current Modern Warfare, right in between Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare Remastered because this game has been a ton of fun. And this is like the first, I mean, this is the first cross platform game. Uh, I don't, I'm not, I'm not even having Warzone in this because I'm not playing Warzone until they add duos. I have my, I have a few Warzone wins. That's all I need until they add duos. But it's cross platform. So people are talking in game because you can't have party chat across platforms. I, I'm like, this is the best year I've ever had on YouTube by far. Playing Modern Warfare every night that I can't play. My family, obviously, like, they joke at me they want me to play. Still, my friends, too. They, like, obviously joke they want me to play, but they understand. And when I am ready to play and I text them, they all hop on. It's just great times every night. I love Modern Warfare. I just... Dude, I... Oh, man. You know what, dude? I freaking love Modern Warfare. Like, I love this game right now. And I don't even play competitively. I might move it up. I think I'm going to move it up. I feel like... Oh, my goodness. I think I'm going to put it in front of Black Ops 2. I really do. And I don't care. I know a lot of people don't like it. And I don't care about other people's opinions on my tier list. Man. Here's what I would say, though. If Black Ops 2 had cross-platform... And it had like it was active black ops 2 would be the better game but based off of my experiences alone does he black ops 2 i always played with full lobbies too man now i think i'm gonna put if you take out let me tell you this if you take out blackout away from black ops 4 blackout goes down here or black ops 4 if you take out blackout easily if you take out blackout there's still a great multiplayer still in the s tier right but Blackout carried Black Ops 4 for me. And it's still an S tier even with just multiplayer. I'm going to leave that there though. Modern Warfare either goes here or here. It either goes in between Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 2 or in between Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare Remastered. Um, I feel like I'm going to leave it behind Black Ops 2 right now. But if they add Warzone Duos, even though it's like freaking basically too late to do that. Like we're at the end of May, beginning of June right now. And... It's probably gonna be yeah it's gonna be beginning of june when i post this so, so we're at the beginning of june and they don't have wars on duos yet i mean i have to they're just not listening to the community you know what actually i'm definitely putting it behind black ops 2 because they also don't have the freaking mini map working bro but i still love it the experience is still fun and that i'm only saying that because i play search if i had to play like hard points or any other public match besides search and destroy i would not be having as much fun in this game but in search you don't really need the mini map when it's just one life so i'm having a ton of fun i'm happy to put modern warfare in between black ops 2 and modern warfare remastered so right here i'm gonna leave my mouse there because i don't actually have an icon and that's gonna do it this is my tier list take it read it and we've got number one this these are ranked in orders so modern warfare 3 remat modern warfare 3 modern warfare 2 black ops 4 black ops 2 uh 2019 modern warfare modern warfare remastered then call of duty ghost black ops 3 world war ii black ops infinite warfare advanced warfare now i know that black ops 3 for a lot of people is low but i just i can't put away the amount of fun i had playing ghost like i said this is based off of my experience i can't put away the amount of fun i had the amount of fun i had playing ghost competitively i can't like it was just it was too fun it was just too fun of a game so that's my tier list and i'm sticking to it Obviously, some days, 
you know if any of these games got remastered and i got to play them again and got just refresh on them i might move some of them around but this is just what i remember off the top of my head so thank you guys for stopping by today's video and i'll see you guys all later goodbye